Today I'll be showing you four different methods to make stickers. You're not even going to need a cricket or a gopher or a grasshopper even for that matter. I'll also be attempting to make homemade scratch and sniff stickers, so make sure you watch till the end to see how they turn out. Welcome back to Stickin' It with Anthony. I'm your host, Anthony Stickerman, and I'm glad you joined me. I wanted to know how to make my own stickers simply. I do have one of these Xyron machines, and I'll show you how we use that, but I thought there's gotta be a way to make your own stickers. So I did a lot of research. I found a couple different methods that I really like. Come along, let's get stickin'. And by that, I mean let's make some stickers. So the first thing we're going to need is something to make the stickers out of. If you draw or paint, maybe you want to draw or paint a picture. I'm just going to flip through some magazines that I just happen to have lying around. Maybe they're a little bit out of date. I've got some fashion magazines from the 80s, 1987 to be exact. This Star Trek The Next Generation magazine. And these are what I'm going to be making my stickers out of. The first method I'm going to be showing you is truly the simplest, easiest way to make Make stickers. All you're going to need is some wax paper and some storage tape or some packing tape. I like this one. It's heavy duty and it seems to be very clear. You can also use parchment paper. I actually got a little bit of both. I'm gonna try out this wax paper and it's microwavable. We're not using that. That's, that's not a feature that we need. What we're gonna be doing is taking a piece of the wax paper now, the first thing you need to do to make these stickers is we're going to use some of our packing tape or storage tape and we're just going to lay it down flat onto the wax paper. Then we're going to take our image. Looking through these magazines, I found some really good images. Um, I really like a lot of these products from the 80s. We're gonna make a sticker out of this big red cinnamon gum. We've got some Final Net hairspray. If you were anywhere near the 80s, you'd probably know exactly what Final Net is and you can probably smell it. All right, so all you have to do is lay this down like so. Make sure it's facing up. Then we're going to take our packing tape and simply lay it on top. Oh, simply. Okay, so I put a crease in the big red. Oh, and there's an air bubble. Okay, so that's good to know. You don't want the air bubbles, but our final net looks fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them out. Now you have to be very careful. When you are cutting these out, you can't go right around the edge of the piece of paper. You actually have to make sure that there is all around the edges tape, touching tape. Um, if you cut it out too much, it's not going to um, stick together anymore. Got our final net and we've got our big red. You do want to be careful of these little air bubbles here. You know, probably making them one at a time would be a little bit better. Um, I tried to make it go a little quicker and look what happened. I got air bubbles in it. Not really what I was looking for. I wonder if the parchment paper is any easier to work with. I think I'm going to make one more sticker with this method number one using parchment paper instead of wax paper. What we're going to do is the same thing. I'm going to gently and carefully place down some of the tape onto the parchment paper. Also right from the 80s, this lovely can of Tab soda. All I know is I've never tried Tab. I have no idea what that tastes like. Now I'm just gonna do this because I don't wanna wreck it like I did with the big red chewing gum. I'm going to rub it with the end of the scissors here. That just smooths everything out. But what happens if you need to make a slightly bigger sticker? Well, I can show you that right over here. You can actually use a couple pieces if your sticker is a little bit bigger. Oh, so here I have the lovely Princess Diana. I just think she's lovely. And then you can do just exactly what you did. So there's the bottom half. When you're sticking this top layer of the tape, really make sure you're not putting your grubby fingerprints on it, because those fingerprints would be visible. Rub Princess Diana's face 
with the back of these scissors. Oh my goodness. Now I'm gonna go and cut these out with my scissors. So Princess Diana and this can of tab using method one, but this time using parchment paper instead of wax paper. Let's move on to method number two. So now you're thinking, but Anthony Stickerman, that is a lot of work. I, I have to do all the cutting and the taping and then more taping and then more cutting. And that's totally fine. There is another way. There is another way. This you can find at Staples. This is called mounting tape. So the mounting tape actually has its own backing. So you don't have to use the wax paper. Lay out some of this mounting tape. I found this lovely Jordache jeans logo. Just gonna stretch that out and lay this down right on top. Now you could leave that like that and then just cut that out, but I like to have it look a little bit shinier. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of our heavy duty storage tape. That looks really good. Now, the thing about this mounting tape is it's quite um, puffy. This is a thick sticker, so if you wanna make some puffy stickers, mounting tape. Jordache Basics, because life is not. So those are two different methods. If that seems like a lot of work to you and too much of a mess, you could also get something like this. This is the little um, Zyron 150 sticker maker. I'm not sponsored by Zyron, I just really like this machine. And all you gotta do is put the sticker face up into the Zyron, just slide it right in there. And you pull here, it just comes out the bottom. You tear. Mm -hmm. You rub, and then you peel. And now it's its own little sticker on its own little backing. Method number three, the Zyron sticker maker. I got some of this at Staples. Last time I went in there, it's as though this didn't exist. They had never even heard of it. So luckily I had one sheet of this left. These are adhesive mounting sheets. This one's made by Recollections. What this is, it's an eight by 10 piece of sticker paper. We're going to just peel the top off of the whole sheet. Now what we have left um, are a backing and a very super sticky piece of eight by 10 paper. I'm just going to take my images and I'm going to lay them out. They don't have to be perfect, but the paper is not super cheap. So I would say kind of keep your stickers close together. There we have data from Star Trek The Next Generation. Deanna Troy, Counselor Troy. Loved Counselor Troy. Spritz it, modeling spritz. Here we have some Studio Line by L'Oreal. Right there. Oh, awesome. We have this girl here. She's just really natural. That's a very natural pose. Super natural even. Her elbow on her knee and a big smile and these mall bangs and she's reading a book. Double your pleasure. There's only one way to live in sheer elegance. She's got legs, anyhow. We love that. She's got legs. I remember those pantyhose in the egg from the 80s. I mean, seeing them on TV and period pieces from the 80s, because I'm much too young to know about those pantyhose eggs. I'm also going to put some of my favorite girls, little Dorothy, little Blanche. I'm gonna take my adhesive mounting sheet with all of my images on it, and I'm going to cut the images out. Now, when I was younger, younger, I was told that I look like Data from Star Trek. At the time, I didn't really appreciate it. Um, and now I really appreciate it. I appreciate it more and more all the time. Method number four is using adhesive mounting sheets to make your own stickers. As I said, I'm going to be making some scratch and sniff stickers. I haven't done this yet. I haven't tried this yet. This will be my first time. So the product I'm going to use is a little bit of this sweet orange essential oil. The method that I found that I thought was really cool um, she was using Mod Podge. I wasn't sure if the glossy or matte Mod Podge would be better, so I chose uh, both of them. So what we're gonna do is squirt some of the Mod Podge in there. Um, apparently you can use glue, like Elmer's school glue, the white glue, but I got Mod Podge. Does it have a smell? 
Oh, it does. It smells like glue. Maybe that goes away after it dries. I'm going to take some of this essential oil and apparently you do not need a lot. So what I'm gonna do is just put a drop. I'm gonna give it a little stir with my paintbrush here. Okay, so I'm just brushing on really lightly. Very, very lightly. Why don't we make a Scratch and Sniff Rue McClanahan sticker? Let's make Blanche's hair smell like oranges. I'm just gonna make it look like a little bit of texture. Put some of those curls in there for her. So far it smells like glue and oranges. So this is the glossy and we'll see if that makes any little bit of difference. That's four different methods of stickers for you. But Anthony Stickerman, how well do they work? Well, let's find out right now. This was method number one and this is our wax paper. Now the wax is ripping a little bit. The tape has stuck to the wax paper. This is actually quite tricky. So the wax paper method is tricky. I'm gonna pull a little bit more gently because I really don't want to rip this wax paper. Okay, so if you pull very slowly, you can pull the wax paper off without ruining your sticker, which is great because I really wanted to keep this final net sticker. So let's stick that down right there. We did parchment paper. Let's see if the parchment comes off any easier. So far the parchment is easier to peel. Oh yes, parchment paper is where it's at. Don't use the wax paper. Princess Diana using two strips of the packing tape. Parchment paper just comes off like butter. So remember this, we had this mounting tape is how I made the Jordash Basics puffy sticker. So let's go in here. We're gonna take this backing right off. That comes off easily. And you can see the sticker is actually quite nice and big and puffy. That is method number two, using mounting tape. Method number three was using our Xyron 150 sticker maker. Let's peel that off. Ooh, should have gone a little slower. It curled right up there. Let's put it up here, red and green. And then we had method number four, which was using the adhesive mounting paper. They come off really nice and easily. Oh, let's put this natural girl. She's so natural. Maybe right there. Then we have our scratch and sniff stickers that I made here. They are all dry. Let's give the scratch and sniff stickers a little sniff. It smells a little bit orangey. I think next time I would put a lot more of the essential oil in and maybe not use magazines from 1987. It smells a little musty. I found that the sticker that I scented with the glossy Mod Podge is a lot stronger smelling. So there we have four different methods of making stickers. I think the method that I liked the best was using the parchment paper with the packing tape. It made the nicest stickers um, that are the easiest to peel off. Even though it's the same method, I find that the wax paper really, really stuck to the tape a lot more. I could have gotten less sticky tape, but I didn't want to compromise my artistic integrity. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had a lot of fun making these stickers. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, why don't you go ahead and do that right now. And make sure you hit the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a video. Thanks for watching Stickin' It with Anthony. I'm Anthony Stickerman, and for the love of stickers, have a great day. Bye-bye. Welcome back. <clears throat> I'll also be attempting to make a grasshopper or even a silkworm. You're not gonna need a fancy machine. I guess one of them is a fancy machine. Though. One more sticker, perusing through some mo mod, modeling, <laughs> modeling I almost said.